Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I've made plenty of videos about integrated graphics on the channel. We've demonstrated how modern AMD APUs can handle the latest games with respectable frame rates and we've also explored how Intel's older HD series iGPUs keep up these days. The fact of the matter is though, if you've been trying to get a graphics card for a while and you haven't been able to, you might have become more familiar with the graphics inside of your processor and that probably hasn't been ideal. Take the i5-4460 here. Sure, the onboard HD4600 graphics can handle some titles relatively well, like CSGO and Fortnite for example, but there are certainly some obvious limitations, such as performance issues with more demanding games and compatibility problems with others. That's when I decided to try out and give my thoughts on the Xbox Cloud Gaming service. If like me, you have a Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you can open the Cloud Gaming website in your browser, choose from any available title, connect a controller and play it. There's no need to download or install any programs, you just click play and soon enough, you're in the game. If your hardware can handle video playback smoothly, then it can handle this because all we're doing is streaming the game from Microsoft's Xbox hardware that's based in their top secret lab or wherever they, they are. The i5-4460 is now a graphics card less gaming beast. Brilliant. But let's talk about quality and latency. My internet isn't anything special, it's fast enough for my needs, but it falls slightly short of the UK average. I'm using an Ethernet connection as well, and as far as picture quality goes, well, Doom Eternal here, the first game I tested, looks fantastic. I wouldn't know it wasn't running on a base Xbox One. While picture quality isn't an issue, at least not with half decent internet, I can still feel an input delay. I took this short video which may be able to demonstrate what I mean. Now it's certainly an improvement over what I've seen from some videos that were taken months ago, but it may make the difference between getting the kill or getting killed in first person shooters. That said, however, when I jumped into Battlefield 5 and played the opening level, it felt a lot more responsive overall. I then fired up GTA San Andreas The Definitive Edition. As a day one Game Pass game, it's available on this service and it feels pretty responsive to play. Any little stutters and dips you can pick up on the video here were actually part of the game itself. Because the game is streaming from Xbox hardware, as I say in Microsoft's offices or wherever it is streaming from, we can still choose between the performance and fidelity graphics options as well, like in any game that offers these options on console hardware. Now like with any game streaming service, there can be issues. Though the first isn't necessarily the fault of xCloud. When Forza Horizon 5 briefly became a pixelated unresponsive mess, it was a reminder that we were at the mercy of my inconsistent UK internet. I got another connection warning when I played Halo Infinite, and while I noticed a slight dip in picture quality, this went away fairly quickly, and despite what I was saying earlier about Doom, this actually felt decently responsive yet again. Even if you don't plan on using a service like this very much, the ease of use and the fact that you don't have to install anything to play games means you could use it to try a game before you buy it on Xbox or on PC, as long as you've got a Game Pass Ultimate subscription of course. You don't even need an Xbox console either as far as I know. But that's my thoughts on the Xbox Cloud Gaming service. I've had a lot of fun trying this out and it sort of breathed some new life into my Intel i5-4460 which on its own wasn't really capable of playing all that much anymore so if you have a game pass ultimate subscription then i would recommend trying out this service and seeing how well it runs for you because you never know it could provide a nice stopgap between now and the time that you can find a xbox console or a new graphics card that you've been after thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like on it down below leave a dislike if you didn't subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully i'll see all of you in the next one